Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Sam's Choice Belgian Chocolate Hearts. And I have the Red Velvet Chocolate Almonds. The Red Velvet Chocolate Almonds were $3.88 at Walmart, and the Truffles were $9.98 at Walmart. Sam's Choice is a Walmart brand. So this box, the reason I bought it is because it has three unique flavors in the box. They're really pretty. Looks like a dark, a milk, and a white. Yeah, these are these are very pretty, multicolored. They kind of remind you of those shells. Remember the shells you can buy? Yes. They kind of look like yeah, those. I can't. Uh, right. There's all kinds of different brands. Of yeah, well, that's true. Okay, so we have. Um, it might be hard to. Can you see the difference as easy? These are rounder than I thought they were. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I mean, that's a that's a good size. I don't know what it's gonna be like when I cut them. Okay, well, can you tell the difference between yeah, white milk, uh, white milk and dark? Okay, so why don't we do the dark? Okay. There's a dark chocolate with hazelnut filling. It says no artificial flavors or colors. Belgian chocolate. There are six servings in the container. Two pieces are 170 calories. So this is dark chocolate with hazelnut filling. Product of Belgium. I'm going to try to get all these little pieces of dark chocolate. <laughs> That's a good amount. Nothing like half. Mm-hmm. I like the texture of it. I like the, yeah, I like the texture. I like the, um, the layer of chocolate on the outside. It's nice. Mm-hmm. It's got a little hazelnut plate. I do taste hazelnut. I get a little hazelnut. The dark chocolate covers a lot of it up, but, but I do get it. I taste the hazelnut. It's very creamy. Mm -hmm. It um, it uh, truly it reminds me of like a dub because it's because of the so texture because it's soft. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but truffles should be soft. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you got yeah. hard truffle, you got something going on. <laughs> it is darker. <laughs> it but is, but it's not bitter. It's not bitter. No, it dries your mouth out just a little bit. I think cool. it has a really nice flavor, and I like the size that you get. This is a good size. Yeah. Okay. So now we have milk chocolate. Milk. With caramel and hazelnut filling. Okay. Ooh, this is, so this is like this a, a layer. A soft. Um, yeah. It's almost. like half of it's caramel and half of it's hazelnut. No, it's all caramel. Caramel and hazelnut filling. I know, but all you see is caramel. Mm. It's basically two hearts, and they've just stuck them together. Mm -hmm. I like the caramel. That's all it tastes is caramel. Mm -hmm. It's really good though. I don't. Um, I'm the, not complaining about it. The caramel is ultra, ultra sweet, mm -hmm. but it completely, if there was supposed to be hazelnut in it, you don't get it at all. No, I didn't taste it at all. At all, because the caramel's so sweet and delicious mm -hmm. that it covers up the hazelnut. It's leaning towards a little bit of a burnt caramel flavor. It's just, just a little it's bit. It's really delicious though. Yeah. And the milk, it goes really well with that milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. And milk it's chocolate. actually good chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chocolate's creamy. Um, I just don't expect to get hazelnut because no. the, they didn't even need to put hazelnut. I don't no, the, I mean the first one, the dark chocolate one, you really taste the hazelnut, no. but that one you don't. No, not at all. It is delicious though. Um, this is white chocolate with crispy hazelnut filling. Hmm. It's got like a little, Ooh, a little rice cereal Yeah, or it's little in crispy there. pieces. Very small pieces here, which I'm gonna lie. Well, you get 12 pieces of chocolate in here, and four of each flavor. I think that's a good box. I like that. Um, the um, the chocolate's nice. It's mm -hmm. creamy. It is different from the milk chocolate and the dark. Mm -hmm. You do get the hazelnut. Yeah, 100% good hazelnut. Um, I wouldn't necessarily have said that it was white chocolate because it didn't come out as sweet as and creamy. As sweet as, yeah. But um, but it's still really, really good. Uh, for $9.98. That's a good deal. This is a good deal for this box. Yeah. I love, like I've said, I love the size of these, the shape of them. They're smooth and rounded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're nice looking. They've done a good job. You know, a lot of these chocolates, though, when you get chocolate hearts, they're stamped out, and so you still get these sharp corners and stuff. 
I am really impressed that they rounded. These look like those decorative stones that you would buy that say love on them and stuff oh, like yeah. that, that you just lay on the table in your house. That's what these look like. They're very pretty. And for $9.98, uh, I think this would make it an excellent gift. I yep. really do. It's good quality. Yep. Okay. Right. So now, red velvet chocolate almonds. This could go either way. It could go either <laughs> way. Yeah. Let's smell them. It's, it's, it smells like red velvet. You think like so? Like chocolate cake is what it smells like. Okay. Think buttered popcorn and smell it again. Yeah, I could see that. A little bit. I still think it smells it more smells like dark. Like buttered popcorn. It smells like chocolate cake to me. Like you bake a chocolate cake in the oven. That's what it smells like. Roasted almonds covered in red velvet flavored milk chocolate and cream cheese icing. Maybe it's that icing that I don't know. Four and a half servings per container, one ounce, 28 grams, about seven pieces or 150 calories. I want a big fat one. I know, there's one. What's interesting is you really do get that chocolate cake kind of flavor and you get the green cheese. I like that. And they're well coated. Mm -hmm. Even the small ones are well coated. You don't bite one and a half. I could eat that whole bag. I, it's. How big that almond is. Yeah, it's got like red in the middle. Oh, like cool. Chocolate. Cool. You'll have to leave me one of those for a picture. Um, not that one. Not that one. No. <laughs> I know you all think I'm crazy, but if you buy these, you have to smell them. I truly, there's even, to me, the flavor of them even comes across as a butter popcorn. It does. It does for me. Yeah. I'm just a nut. That's just, we have established that. It smells like chocolate cake to me. It tastes like chocolate cake. Butter popcorn. I'm telling you, but I like them. Yeah, I'm, like I'm the one who likes the Jelly Belly popcorn. Kevin does not. I'm really, really surprised that he is not getting that. Mm -hmm. um, because if he did, if he got it like I got it, then he probably would not like them because he doesn't want popcorn in anything but popcorn. Yeah, I don't um, like squishy popcorn. No. No, that's 100% chocolate cake with cream cheese popcorn. But I like it. I, that, I think that's the first time I've ever said red velvet. I mean, from the I, the smell of I everything, the smell. Uh, it's just it, it's crazy to me. Uh, but it, but I do think they're they're very good. I think both of these are good. We have reviewed. We did a previous review of some stuff from Sam's Choice for Valentine's Day. Uh, they, they had like these. Uh, uh, double dark chocolate cookies or something and they had some bark raspberry bark they had some strawberry somethings um this is the one you want to get yeah that's don't you get buy, different flavors too so. yeah don't buy any of those bags don't get those get these because this is going to be something that the person will actually enjoy mm -hmm. and they're getting three different types of chocolate i say absolutely just hate hate from that that's the only thing i could think of and it, they're just so pretty i mean you could literally sit those out on a plate as a decoration on a table and i bet you people would think that was wood yeah or, it, it, yeah, or, stone, or, it, or a stone because it looks like that um th that's what it looks like it looks like you carved that out of wood or something i just think they did a really good job with them so i will have a close-up picture of these for you at the end and thanks for watching <music>